If you ever thought about getting a successful mentor or coach and you actually want me, Spectacular Smith, to actually coach you and become your mentor, I'm actually so excited about releasing my online school, Spectacular Academy, where I'm actually going to teach you live once a month different skill sets that's actually going to help you change your life for the better transformational information that I'm going to give you guys access to. I have a formula to success that every single company that I ever touched turned into gold. And I have over 14 companies, okay? And all of them have the same type of success. So I want to teach you everything that the school system should have taught you. You know, everything that I know and how I built these fast growing companies and these award winning companies and show you real curriculums that I'm going to break down. You're going to have access to me. I'm going to be live in the chat rooms. I'm going to be live in the Facebook groups and personal communities that I'm going to give you guys access to of like minded entrepreneurs. So you're not by yourself on this mission. Not only you have me as a coach and a mentor, but you actually have your peer to peer people that's going to push you and root for you on the way to the top. Guys that's on the same exact weight limp that you are on and want the same exact results because my game plan is to change the way the school systems teach and teach you the things that need to make an impact in your life. Things that's going to be a high ticket skill that you can use forever where you don't never have to worry about going broke or not eating at night because once you learn how to market and brand yourself then you can eat for a lifetime you get access to my team and everything if you want to go to my free training just to get a sample of the things that's going to be in my program you can actually go to specmentorme.com or i'm gonna put it in the bio only take a certain amount of people every single month so reserve your seat and do not procrastinate because you might just miss out. Now let's get to the podcast. What's up, everybody? This is Spectacular Smith and welcome to the Spectacular Experience. What's up, everybody? This is Spectacular Smith and welcome to the Spectacular Experience. Okay, today I want to get into distractions. So many times we're literally distracted by everything. A lot of us entrepreneurs, we got everything popping up, notifications, normal everyday people, everything is just distracting. But I think the first thing to do to get on the right track is cut off the distractions out. If you got notifications on your phone, cut them off. If you need to be reminded, Make sure you write everything down and you know exactly what you're going to do before you need to do it. OK, so the day before you want to write everything down so you don't have to have consistent reminders popping up, stopping your thoughts. So you write everything down a day before. So, you know, as the day comes, you can get your reminders right in and there and keep up with your day on a notepad. All right. The second thing is you have to limit your social media intake. Because your output is coming from your input. So not only you have to manage that, the first thing I would do is put a timer on it. So if you look at my phones, I got two phones. My son just asked me today, Daddy, why you got two phones? Just in case one go dead, I need backup. I got to do business 24-7. What's wrong with him? He'll understand when he get older. But you have to limit your social media intake. OK, because sometimes you can get consumed up by social media. I need you guys to document how long is it taking you uh, on social media every single day? Like how long is it taking you to watch all of the feeds you want to watch and do all the things that, you know, you're not supposed to be doing all those hours that you're wasting on social media. Now, me, I'm on social media and I get paid to be on social media. OK, I'm bringing people back to my page. I'm retargeting them with ads. I'm doing a lot of things, right? People just think I'm commenting for no reason, but everything is for a purpose. But for the average person, you're on social media just being nosy half the time or you're just going through your motions and looking at people's feed and getting entertainment. But you have to cut that entertainment out at some point. You have to cut it out and you have to limit it. So I like to do like an hour or two hours worth of social media a day. 
All right. To some people, that's a lot. To some people, that's a little bit. But I like to put two hours, even though I get paid off of this. I like to do two hours. So you have to figure out what is that for you? You could go on your iPhone app for Android. I apologize. I do not know how to do this from an Android, but from an iPhone, you can go in, you can limit it, your social media, and it will hit a, a pop up reminder and say, hey, you have five minutes left. Same way you will give your kid that five minute countdown or a few minute countdown before you just totally tell them go to sleep or put them in time out, whatever you do. OK, the same thing with this. You want to make sure you're getting your notification that comes up. And once you get your notification, it's going to block you out. You want it to block you out. And if you need an extra 15 minutes because you're handling some business or you're messaging somebody and you're trying to finish up, wrap up the conversation, then that's what you need to do. OK, but do not get in the habit or jumping back in there and, and like blocking it off for the day. You know, when it when that notification pops up, you want to keep all that going. The next thing is family members. If family members or friends are distracting you, you have to do the same thing as if you would do it for social media. You have to have a time frame on when you cut that off. OK, if you get home, the first thing you want to do when you get home is maybe turn your phone off or maybe put it on airplane mode. You have to figure out what works best for you. But the main thing is cutting it off at some point. OK, you got to get into the habit that I'm a routine guy. When I get in, first thing you need a trigger. Boom. I get in the house. First thing, put my phone on airplane mode, put it on silent or, you know, turn off the distractions. So you have to figure out what works best for you. That's what works best for me. So I can get down and do what I got to do. OK, or if you feel like you have a project or something that's really important, turn your phone off. OK, turn your phone off. Or put it somewhere that you put it in another room or something like that. So you don't get distracted because once you got that phone on or you don't have it on airplane mode, then those notifications are going to pop up. All of a sudden you look at one thing and now you're in the motion of a whole nother hour worth of social media. So you have to control that. So when your family members or your friends cut it off, tell them, listen, when it hit eight o'clock, this is my time from eight o'clock all the way to 10 o'clock while I'm working on my craft. I'm working on my business or I'm working on getting better in life or whatever that one thing is that you're putting focus on. So you can focus on what matters the most because so many times like we go crazy thinking about all these different things when we have no focus. OK, and the reason why we don't have any focus is because we have all the distractions that's around you. One is your phone. One is your social media. One is your friends that's distracting you. OK, even my closest friends or my great friends, half of us don't even talk to each other because all of us is so busy. All right. So we can't even distract each other, even if we wanted to. But it's always good to just let them know that, hey, this is my time right now. You know, I'm meditating or I'm uh, working on my craft or, you know, putting that 10,000 hours on that one thing that's going to make you an expert. So you got to figure out how to alleviate those distractions so you can focus. So main thing, focus. In order to get great at something, you have to have focus. So a lot of ways that I like to break this down is just imagine you having a TV channel on, but now your brain has literally a box. And in that box, it has a million little TV stations and all of them on different stations. That's when you're not focused, when you got all your signals on different channels. And when you focus with no distractions, just imagine you got a million TV screens, but all of them has the same channel on. You see everything on the same exact channel. Everything is crystal clear on what you need to do. So take the notifications off your phone. Let your friends know this is my time to shine. This is when I'm studying. This is when I'm working on my craft. Don't call me. Don't text me. Leave me alone. <laughs> All right. The third thing is figure out what those triggers are. And the next thing is put limitations on your social media. I feel like that's the biggest distraction for my generation. OK, so if you're watching this, take it serious because so much of your time is getting taken up by senseless things. And especially if your input is negativity, if your input 
is gossip, if your input is drama, then that's the output that you're going to actually draw to yourself. Okay, so if you've been thinking about things that have been going on in your life and it hasn't been going the right way and you feel like it's not what you want in life, then you have to figure out what is that input because your input becomes your output. So you have to be conscious of that. And once you're conscious of that, then you can be able to maneuver the right way to get the right result that you want. Okay, so remember that. Stay focused. Get your stuff together. Let's get it together. Let's get on all on one accord so we can put focus on the things that matter. Family, your craft, and whatever else important to you. This Spectacular Smith. If y'all on my YouTube channel, make sure you subscribe. If you are listening to this podcast on Apple Podcasts or Google Podcasts, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Leave me a review. I love reviews. I read them. I smile. I repost them. It makes me feel good. Okay? And share this with somebody that needs to hear this message. I always like to tell everybody, share it and tag me and I'm going to reshare you. Love you guys. I'm out. Spectacular. Let's go.